good day friends today we are going to discuss about the fixed foam fire fighting system or installation on board ship basically we know that foam is utilized for fighting the liquid fires okay so especially on tankers uh, your crude oil tankers or the product tankers you will have the fixed foam fire fighting system on deck we are utilizing the low expansion foam and uh, in engine room or the pump room we are utilizing high expansion foam so in coming slides we will see all uh, different types of the foam uh, then how it works and uh, the working principle of it and the other mechanisms okay what is foam basically if you see that uh, when we talk about the thing what is foam so you will come you will come to know that foam is basically the aggregation of small bubbles which has a specific gravity lower than that of oil or water means it has to float above it and the fire should be fought okay it is caused to flow across the surface of burning liquid such as an flammable oil and forms a smothering blanket cutting off the oxygen that means uh, we are utilizing the foam uh, as a smothering agent or you can say that foam works as a smothering agent and extinguishes the fire beside cutting off the oxygen foam also reduces the surface temperature of the burning liquid and uh, absorption of the heat from that surface also done by the foam okay both these steps actually help in fight the fire in the burning. here you can see the how foam produces means production of the foam you can see over here this is a very nice uh, pictorial representation foam concentrate or you have the foam making agent another thing which is required to make the foam is your water and then you have the air so all these three things joins the hand together and then they make a foam uh, actual for the fire fighting okay foam concentrate is mixed with the water in a correct proportion to form a foam this foam solution when agitated with air that produces the foam. okay how foam extinguishes the flammable liquid fire okay we know that uh, the foam is working as a smothering agent so first we can see over here uh, when we talk about this this foam it is not interfering in any chemical reaction uh, and fighting the fire foam works uh, in the following ways you can see that this is giving you the blanket effect okay and working as a, a smothering fire type okay the foam blanket basically separates the flame uh, and ignition source from the fuel surface okay so basically what is happening uh, it is giving you a blanket effect and it separates the flame and ignition source okay and next you can see that it also cools down the fuel okay whatever the surface uh, of the liquid which is generating the fuel it is also getting cooled down and any adjacent metal surface also which is there uh, that will also be cooled down so this is the uh, methods uh, which is being adopted by the foam for extinguishing the liquid fire and the foam blanket also suppresses the release of flammable vapor so as it is a blanket formation it does not allow the liquid to evaporate or the flammable vapors to generate that can mix with the air and cause the fire okay so that will also suppressed so these are the four major um, uh, things which is being uh, done by the here uh, you can see a very good pictorial uh, representation excludes the air from the uh, from the flammable vapors so you can see here in the diagram the flammable vapors which are being generated and the foam which is being over there so this is basically separating the air and uh, the flammable vapors once it is like that then uh, it cannot catch this fire eliminates the vapor release from the fuel surface okay so whatever the vapor which is getting released so it is being eliminated and this is the fuel liquid fuel which you can see over here separates the flame from the fuel surface so as it will cover it up so uh, there will not be any flame available okay cools the fuel surface and surrounding metal surface as we have seen already the thing here this is also called a very famous foam tetrahedron okay so in center you can see where the water is there then one side it is your air okay that is also uh, it is being required and foam concentrate is also required uh, and the mechanical agitation so all these three things 
are required and that includes with the water then only the foam can be generated and these are the ways by which the foam uh, basically cuts off the fire or extinguishes the now we can see about the different types of foam as you can see over here aqueous film forming foam this is your a triple f okay next you can see over here alcohol resistant a r a triple f this is utilized on chemical tankers okay this is synthetic medium or high expansion foam detergent foam as per expansion ratio also we will see on later okay now here you have class a foam concentrate then you have the wetting agents uh, then you can see over here fluoroproteins that is also included and then we can see over here the proteins one earlier the animal proteins were being utilized and the fill forming fluoroprotein triple fp okay so uh, fffp okay the foam which is there type of foam solutions which is basically used on board is your chemical foam and mechanical foam this classification is also which is there okay so chemical foam how it is being produced it is done by the chemical reaction of two chemicals out of that one will be alkali and second will be an acid they will join the they will do the chemical reaction and the foam solution will be produced including the water mechanical foam produced by the physical agitation of the foam concentrate and that is the product. types of foam which we have seen the names now the description is there aqueous film forming foam is a foam concentrate based on the mixture of hydrocarbon and fluorinated surface active agents fluorinated surface active agents alcohol resistant foam ara triple f is a foam concentrate that is resistant to break down when applied to the surface of alcohol or the other polar solvents normal uh, a triple f foam will be applied uh, then it will break down and the surface will be open for the oxygen or air you can say and it will reignite okay but if it is alcohol resistant it will not alcohol will not be able to break it film forming fluoroprotein foam concentrate is a foam concentrate which has ability to form an aqueous film on the surface of some hydrocarbons okay so this is something which is uh, your f f f next is something which is the fluoroprotein foam concentrate this is a protein foam concentrate with added fluorinated surface active agent so surface active agents are also required protein foam concentrate is a foam concentrate made from the hydrolyzed protein materials okay so basically uh, highly proteinous material is being required to generate the foam yeah. synthetic foams these are uh, man made foams okay synthetic foam concentrates based on the mixture of hydrocarbon surface active agents and which may contain fluorocarbons with additional stabilizers so foam stabilizers are also being utilized while making the synthetic foams type a foam concentrates are alcohol resistant and multi purpose that we have seen ar a triple f type b foam concentrates are all regular types from the foam concentrates that are not alcohol resistant including the fluoroprotein and aqueous film forming foam so i have given you here the various categories which you find if you see the foam manuals uh, fixed foam fixed foam fire fighting system manual okay so we are going to uh, see about the types of foam as per the expansion ratio okay so here we can see that uh, high expansion foam medium expansion foam and low expansion foam basically uh, high expansion foam uh, is being utilized for the enclosed spaces like uh, or you can say covered spaces uh, like we have the uh, engine room and pump room okay and uh, the low expansion foam we are uh, utilizing on deck okay uh, on tankers and all okay so we will start from the low expansion foam 1 is to 3 is to 1 is to 20 okay so this is uh, something which is uh, having uh, high density bubble size is also small and uh, it is spread on deck okay and it will not be blown away by the wind okay so this is something which is a low expansion foam used on deck when we talk about a medium expansion foam this is uh, 1 is to 20 to 1 is to 200 and uh, made from the uh, same concentrate as the high expansion foam but aeration does not require a fan uh, in case of the high expansion foam we will requiring the aeration fan portable applicators may be used to deliver the considerable quantities of foam to spill fires and all. okay so portable applicators you can see over there so medium expansion foam is utilized over there when we talk about the high expansion foam especially for the machinery spaces the purifier rooms you must have seen that and uh, the the uh, your fan is being required uh, for the 
uh, spreading over the thing okay nozzle and uh, fan is being required over there okay so this is the ratio when we talk about 1 is to 200 to 1 is to 1500 part of it okay okay so here you can see that uh, the expansion ratio wise and this is the mm, nice pictorial representation low expansion form uh, less than uh, 1 is to 20 medium expansion form more than 1 is to 20 and up till 1 is to 200 and high expansion form it is uh, greater than 1 is to 20 basically on board ship up till 1 is to 1500 is there. okay okay so we are going to see about the uh, earlier thing which is uh, different types of foam we have already seen so fluoroprotein uh, this is uh, basically having the fluorochemical surfactant to enhance the performance uh, used on hydrocarbon fuels and uh, this is properly aspirated and should not be with the non aspirated type of the foam nozzles the foam nozzles should be there okay when we talk about the protein foam uh, also utilized for the hydrocarbon fuels and uh, properly aspirated and should not be with non aspirated type of the foam nozzles when we talk about three film forming fluoroprotein foam combination of the fluorochemical surfactant and the protein foam aqueous film forming foam intended to use on hydrocarbon fuels and it flows quickly the basic advantage is flow quickly alcohol resistant foam which we have seen uh, used on the solvent such as alcohols chemicals basically on chemical tankers alcohol resistant fill forming fluoroprotein foam intended to use on solvent such as alcohol same like that and synthetic foam this is can be a mid foam or high expansion foam intended to use on the confined fire spaces now i hope uh, all of you have understood about the foam and how foam extinguishes fire and the different types of foam as per the quality and uh, your expansion ratio in the next coming video or uh, you can say part two we will have a further discussion uh, regarding the various types of the uh, foam systems as well as your uh, low expansion system and the high expansion system okay thank you